Now Gold's Gym is, uh, I believe, a fitness lifestyle for every... The bicep is a two-headed muscle that starts under the shoulder and is joined to the elbow. The cable curls on a preacher bench is a popular exercise for training the bicep, as it gives resistance to the muscle all the way through the movement and helps to give it height. Training the bicep isn't as easy as it seems, as different exercises work different parts of the muscle, affecting the inner or outer sides, adding height or giving length. The bench used in preacher curls prevents you from cheating the exercise, and it's the arms that do all the work. Francis generally does five sets for each muscle car. A set is composed of a number of reps, which are gradually reduced as the weight is increased. Starting with 15 to 20 reps to warm up the muscle, Francis increases the weight after each set, bringing the number of reps down to between six and eight, which is considered the best number of reps for increasing muscle size. Some bodybuilders even go down to between two and four reps, believing this stimulates even greater growth. One thing is certain, the actual weight each bodybuilder uses is the least important factor, as this will be different for each individual. Many beginners make the mistake of adding too much weight to the exercise at the expense of a well-executed movement, which should be smooth and constant without coming to rest between reps. Anyone who is trained with weights will at some time have experienced what bodybuilders call the pump. This is when blood is pumped to the muscle faster than it can be carried away by the circulation, and the muscle will begin to swell in size. This is what bodybuilders want in every workout, and with it the strength and power they feel as the body balloons. You can see Francis's veins standing out much clearer than they were before, as the blood rushes to the muscles to feed them with oxygen. Another strong sensation is what bodybuilders call the burn. This is caused by the build-up of lactic acid in the muscle. It's the same feeling you get after a hard run, when the build-up of lactic acid is too much for the blood to remove and the muscle is exhausted. Bodybuilders know that producing this sensation means they are near the muscle's limit, and they will continue to push the muscle until the last rep possible. Many believe it's this ability to work through the pain of these last few reps that separates a good bodybuilder from a champion. Nearly all gyms have their walls covered with dozens of mirrors so that their members can flex and pose to their heart's content. Posing after each set or exercise can have great results in bringing out every detail of the muscle. It also trains the bodybuilder for the exhausting rounds of posing in the contests. A great deal of practice is needed to hold a pose without shaking or looking as if it's killing you. On the fifth and final set, Francis pushes his arms to their very limit before he's satisfied they've been fully worked for the day. The chest, or pectoral muscles, are split into upper and lower parts. In a few more weeks, this separation will become very clear on Francis, and that's why he's using an inclined bench for his chest press, which works the upper clavicular portion of the pectorals. The function of the chest muscles is to pull the arms and shoulders across the front of the body, and chest flies, where dumbbells are brought together in a hugging motion, are also very effective in building up the chest. But large pectoral muscles aren't by any means the whole story. Francis also trains hard to increase the size of his rib cage. A popular exercise is the straight arm pullover, which gives the huge chest muscles an equally large rib cage on which to rest. Once again, Posing and flexing the chest brings out all the striations in the pectoral muscles.
You'll notice that Francis keeps the movement smooth and constant and doesn't let the chest muscles rest between each rep. However, resting between each set is important, allowing the blood to remove the lactic acid before the next set begins. Francis rests between one or two minutes before starting again, but never longer, as the muscles begin to grow cold and start to lose their pump. Once the body part has been given a good solid workout, it won't be trained again until at least two days later. This allows the muscle to respond to the exercise by growing in size and strength in order to meet the demands that are being made on it in each and every workout. How are you feeling today, Francis? Good. Okay. Is this tender? A little. A little. On another day of his workout, Francis trains his legs using this machine for leg extensions, which works the quadriceps at the front of the thigh. The thigh muscles are the largest and most powerful muscles in the body, and an exercise involving legs will often be the most exhausting part of a workout. The most popular exercises for the thigh are the squats and the leg presses, but many other exercises, such as these leg extensions, help to shape and define the muscles. These exercises bring out the V-shaped middle muscle and help the sweep of the lateralis on the outside. Behind the thigh is the leg bicep, and these are developed using leg curls. Flexing the legs is important for defining each part of the thigh, but this contraction will also shorten the muscle. This is why Francis stretches the legs to lengthen the muscles and maintain their flexibility. It's not surprising that these huge muscles put the greatest strain on Francis when he pushes through the last few reps. The difference for me between uh, Europe and America? Just as the name suggests, the tricep is a three-headed muscle which works against the bicep to bend and straighten the arm. This exercise, which is called the seated tricep extension, works the entire tricep muscle and develops the shape and definition in the muscle's three heads. It's in poses like these that well-developed triceps can make all the difference. Francis keeps his elbows stationary and close to his head, which makes the tricep do all the work. It's this attention to detail in Francis' workout that has produced the results you can see today.
Fable machines can also be used to do tricep press downs, which works the muscle through its complete movement. Some bodybuilders find the tricep a difficult muscle to develop. As with all difficult muscles, it's best to train the triceps first, while the muscles are still fresh. I think it's possible, American people and America, that it's possible to forget my problem when uh, I am in uh, gym.